I don't know if you know that I wrote a book that everyone laughs about a lot because it's called I've Slept With Everybody, but it's a show business term. They say if you really need something to happen, you know, you've got to get into bed with them. Not get into bed with them, but get into bed with them. I've worked with nothing but great people in my entire life. I mean, how, I mean, how fortunate can you be, huh? I was discovered by Jerome Robbins. I had been in a, a, chosen for a play, which was actually, I think it was choreographed by Agnes DeMille. So she said to me, can you do modern? I said, yes. And then she said, who did you study with? And I couldn't think of who it was. I thought, Catherine Dunham and Martha Graham. And I said, Martha Dunham. Well, of course, I was let go. That was the end of that. I walked down Schubert's Alley. I opened the door. I said, what's going on? And somebody said, that's Robin. She's doing high button. I opened the door. I don't know why. And I walked in that door and said to this darkened theater, who's Robin's? This voice said, I'm Robbins, who are you? I said, I'm Sandra, and I've just been let go from some show when I'm going home to commit suicide. And he said, don't commit suicide, dance for me. And I danced, I don't know, I could have been shot out of a cannon. I just gave it all the passion I had. And he said, terrific. What appealed to me about the play is that it was born at the Actress Studio and written by a remarkable woman whose name is Norris Church Mailer, who was the wife of Norman Mailer, the great American novelist. Toward the end of her writing this play, she got very ill and Norris actually died. And it was a promise I would somehow see this play done. It's about a woman in a sex booth during the early 80s. It's really about two people who have lived two very different lives. We can't leave it like this. I just want to talk to you. You come near me, motherfucker, I will bash your head in. Michelle, just calm down. You sadistic liar running in front of me while I was riding my bike. I was born to live in the arts, and I intend to do exactly that, yeah. As a dancer, I was wounded. My career as a serious ballet dancer was over. That doesn't mean that I can't be open a restaurant with a great salad. I mean, if you're creative, it falls over into many other places. If you say, I will do nothing but this, you're foolish.